right, same day as the last video. We're pulling out now, we're getting uh, filled up. I think we're headed to Virginia, but I can't confirm yet. Unfortunately, there's no other truck islands open, so I'm just, I think I think the big tank's full, or the, the, sm the main tank's full, so we're gonna just fill the top tank and go from there. So, straps are tight. Hopefully this load comes through because I'm tired of sitting, it's damn hot. So, still need that AC bracket, heading down. To, uh, if we get the one from, it's going from, take it home, let it sit at my storage unit, take another one down to Florida, come back up, take a couple days, and then we need to find another one. That one goes to South Dakota. So, the goal is to kind of Florida back and then that one's going to South Dakota but it pays really well so we're going to try to find two out two back but we shall see fuel here is 367 luckily I think I'm getting it for like 303 I, it's low three dollars which is still ridiculous but don't take shit from brokers dude I'm telling you what I just posted that last video like five ten minutes ago about how the broker screwed us out of a fifteen hundred dollar load and they must have lost whoever was going to go pick it up because it was a $1,500 run. And we just got it for $1,600 because they reposted it. So, hell yeah. We're going to pick up a load. I just filled the tank up. And guess what? It's in the same location that it was earlier. 23 minutes. Let's, let's see this. Glassboro, New Jersey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. Uh, we're doing the Copart Q thing, so I should be about... Eight minutes is what it says. But yeah, we're picking up from Copart again. Believe it or not, I actually used to have a uh, contract with Copart. We had like two or three drivers. Uh, we'd run them from the Chambersburg lot, and then there was another lot uh, in Grantville. We'd actually run cars back and forth. So it was not the greatest money in the world, but we could get about six cars a day from the Chambersburg lot on a good day where everything worked out. So it's pretty decent. I mean, it paid the bills, but. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of Copart. Well, shit ain't gonna be easy today. Well, that was pointless. It says Ram Pro Master. Oh God, this is not what I was expecting. <sighs> Goodness. Goodness. Hey, there's a one-piece drive shaft. Any more now you guys can get a good look at what's in these things it's awful well this kind of sucks i don't know how we're gonna get that i'm gonna check and verify it's the right one but it says a blue pro master and i'd rather it go on the back because you guys can see the overhang like from here to here that's gonna sit pretty dang far back so i need to take some measurements now they told me they wouldn't fork it but i'm gonna try to get them to fork it tell you what a tape measure has never been so useful in my life so we have 214 inches all the way down and then i went and measured from a couple inches past the front bumper to the back it looks like we will have a couple of inches of leeway with the back tire. So it looks like you guys can see back there, this thing's absolutely destroyed. They're like, yeah, it runs and drives. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Doubt it. So the back tire should be sitting right in this area right here. So I'm gonna go back, drive up there and uh, see if I can't get this thing forked. I wanna verify the VIN first, but I'm pretty sure that's the only blue ProMaster in here. Well, that's it. This is the one. Somebody done messed this guy up. Obviously doesn't start, there's no damn battery in it. Ooh, that's hot. Clearance height, now I, see, they should start putting these in semis because a lot of these, ugh, a lot of these CDL holders don't know the height of their truck. I live in Carlisle where we have an 11 foot bridge where it says no semis. And you know what happens? They all run under it. God, I don't know what happened to this. This thing got hot. Verizon. Oh, I don't feel bad anymore. I don't like Verizon. 
Hopefully the driver was okay. But, damn. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna ask them to uh, ever so kindly do me a favor. Damn, I, I wish we could take this boat too. Chevy here. A lot of cool shit in here. I need to browse through Copart at some point, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go see if we can't get this bad boy forked. Cause I ain't getting that up there myself. Because for me to do this winch, I need that winch to go down and under. And I don't exact I'm only I'm only keeping this trailer for another month. So it's like for me to go through and weld and do all that just ain't worth it. So let's go. Damn. Where do they sell me them wheel covers? I wonder if the other side has them. Oh, the other side's missing. Damn. Damn Copart. Oh, it just pulled out in a second and it did it. Well, they said nope, they can't uh, do it. So we're gonna try to jump it and go from there. They said that nope, absolutely not too heavy, which I don't understand why it's that heavy. It's a gas motor. It's a little V6. And is there anything in it? And there's nothing in it. So, kind of sucks. Yeah, so there's like almost nothing in it. So like, and the whole thing, like the supports, these are all aluminum. So, I don't get it, man. I don't get it, not even that heavy. But for 1600 bucks, I am not leaving this thing here. We are determined. Let's get this thing on the damn trailer. All right, after all that time I got it started, only to find out that it doesn't go into anything except park. I put it in neutral, I put it in drive, and it just stays in park. It's one of those stupid electronically controlled ones. So I have it back there running to get the battery charged up and I'm gonna go out here I called a tow company I'm gonna go ask these guys if it's okay if they show up after four so if not I'm gonna drag this some bitch out because this thing is oh this is a pain today is turning into more and more of a shit show it's hot I've been out here all day working on this thing okay and when I wasn't working on this thing I'm sitting in the truck figuring out where loads are at what a pain, I'm dying out here. Every time I walk in there, it's a nice, refreshing AC. But we got a tow truck coming, so we're gonna try to grab this thing. God, this thing's still running, but it won't actually go into park. It's been running for quite a while. So I can get the battery charged up. But, you guys can see obviously the brakes go to the floor put it in drive e brake down doesn't get hot I'm a little annoyed though that I can't drive it because go into gear I hate it AC does not work. And neither do the windows. Oh, wow, they, they finally work. Wow, okay. Look, you got a nice backup camera here. I could live in one of these. God, this sucks. So he's coming, he said he'll be here around 4.45. Oh man, this sucks. All right, well, we got her out. This is as far as I'm gonna take it. I don't wanna start riding it on the concrete. Like I just wanna get it as close as possible. They wanna charge $300 to get this thing on a trailer. That's insane. I'm hoping I can put that cost back on the customer because if not, well, maybe I'll just leave it here. Who knows? Ridiculous. All right, so the tow truck driver actually showed up. He had two to drop off, which is what they asked him to do. They recommended this tow truck driver right it was going to be 300 bucks move that car and put it on the bed right well here we are 
The guy shows up at 445 and has to drop the two cars and they don't let him actually take it. So, and I explained to them I don't have AC, I've been sitting for two days, like let me, you know, get this damn thing. I'll sh I'm gonna show you guys how just how close this is. Show you guys just how close this is. So, here's the main, main building, okay? And then, you guys can literally see it from here. It's that one right there. So, two nights of sitting, no AC. Drove 14 miles today. Gonna go drive over to the pilot because I wanna get a shower tonight. Some places are super nice and they'll, they, they'll stay for you. And uh, you know, five minutes was all I needed for this tow truck driver. So the employees of this co-part, I don't even know if I could say the employees, I just think the manager, you know what? Worthless, worthless and lazy. Don't give a shit about other people. I needed five extra minutes that I would have gladly paid for them for their time even. You know what? But I have no faith in Copart. These, uh, fuck them. So I'm gonna go to the pilot. It's about a half hour away. Worthless. Could have easily had that shit. Tow truck driver, like I said, sitting out front with his rollback, big ass rollback. He would have got it just fine. So, whatever. These tow companies out here are a different breed. I got two quotes, $300 to put that thing on my trailer and $419 to put that thing on my trailer. That's like a half hour tops job. If it takes you more than I'd say 15 minutes to do that, that's insane. Like I used to do that stuff for a living, literally back up to it, pick it up. That's the easy part. Then reverse snatch block it off. For half hour of work, y'all want in between $300 and $450. Like that's insane. Wow, see why tow companies get a bad rap. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to get there tomorrow and figure it out. No idea how I'm gonna do it yet. All right, so tomorrow morning, uh, I got some quotes on the tow trucks and, oh, there's a cat. I think we're gonna say screw that. And uh, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do it but I gotta find a way to get that winch cable to sit down. So if I can get it to go down, this is gonna be a tricky one. I don't actually know how I'm gonna do this. And the customer is not answering their phone. So I need to get approval. The fact that that second company, like I thought $300 was ridiculous. I sent them a picture and they're like 419. Yeah, no. So I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Uh, today has been an utter shit show and we are not off to a good start this week at all. I was definitely making more money with power only. I was just driving more. Basically, it's a hookup and drive. So with this, it's like, yeah, we're making $2 a mile, $2.20 a mile, but we're sitting half the time. So it's like something's got to change in the next coming weeks. Uh, definitely going to be making some changes and trying to get better. But keep in mind, guys, I'm doing this without AC. I have no AC at all. I'm sitting out here. It's hot. It's humid. Uh, if you have time to hate, sincerely, fuck off. I, I, I really don't care. Um, so just out here trying to provide for the family. And uh, yeah, so uh, I should be able to get a little bit more life out of them things. But I need to replace those tires soon and uh, figure out how in the hell I am going to get a get that thing on the trailer because like where it was at right there is where the wheels would be so i don't know that this one would actually work on the back but worst case scenario we try it i'm gonna take some measurements tomorrow see you guys have a good one safe travels appreciate you